Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a great lower body stretcher routine that you can do with fibromyalgia and arthritis to get relief from your joint pain and muscle aches, alright? So pay attention and follow along. Alright guys, today I'm going to show you a great lower body stretcher routine that you can do with fibromyalgia and arthritis to get relief from your joint pain and muscle aches in the lower half of your body. Alright, now all of these stretches are going to be time based. Uh, we're going to do them for a 15 second count. You won't need any props, you know, we're going to do them all on the floor. So if you're having trouble standing up for a long period of time, then you can do these stretches, alright. They're super easy. Um, they're beginner level and they can make a world of difference, you know, to give you some pain relief in your, in your joints and your muscles, all right? Now, also before I get started, be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button uh, to get notified when I upload more content on this channel, all right? Now, um, like I said, this is these stretches, we're going to stretch everything from our waist down, all right? All lower body stretches, all on the floor. So if you want to, you know, grab your yoga mat. I got a yoga mat. Um, if you don't have a yoga mat, that's fine. You could just get on, you could just sit on the floor, find you some, somewhere soft to sit, like a carpet or something like that, and just follow along with me. And if you can't do these stretches exactly like me, don't worry about it, do the best you can because the more, the more repetitions that you do, the easier these stretches are, are come become and your range of motion will increase over time all right because i know you guys get stiff i'm showing you these stretches because i know you guys get stiff a lot you know so these stretches will definitely help improve your circulation um uh, in the lower half of your body and give you some relief in those knees you know those hips uh you know your feet and things like that all the lower all the lower half of your body all right so just follow along with me. Like I said, we're going to hold each stretch for a 15 second count. All right. And do the best you can and enjoy yourself. All right. I'm going to try to adjust this camera so you guys can see me better. All right. Like I said, I got a yoga mat right here. So. We're going to start. We're going to start with our legs. With our legs together on the floor, feet together. Hope you guys know you guys can see me. Let me take this down a little bit more. Alright, so. Alright. Sitting flat on the floor, legs together, feet together, legs straight and locked. Don't bend them, alright? Flex your feet back towards your body like this. And we're gonna reach. And hold these, hold that stretch for 15 seconds. Reach as far as you can. If you can't touch your toes, don't worry about it. Just reach as far as you can, all right? All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, good. Now we're gonna spread our legs nice and wide, wide as you can. Keep your legs straight and locked. We're gonna get these inner thighs now. We're gonna reach out and try to touch our feet with both hands. Flex your feet again back towards your body. I'm gonna hold that for 15 count. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, good. All right, bring your feet together. We're still getting these groins. 
So you're going to put your feet together, press them up against each other, and hold them with your hands like this. Knees out wide. We're going to push our knees down to the floor with our elbows. All right? Push your knees, push your knees down to the floor with your elbows as best you can. Scoot your feet back towards your body as far as you can. Ready? Let's go. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good, good. All right, now we're going to take that right leg, bend it. Knee point out wide, press that foot up against that left leg, keep that left leg straight and locked. We're gonna hold that right foot with this right hand, flex this foot back towards your body, keep that leg straight, and we're gonna reach. We're gonna reach and try to pull that foot back towards your body. If you can't touch your foot, remember, just flex your foot back towards your body the best you can. Keep that leg straight. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, perfect. All right, now we're going to get these hip flexors. So you're going to take that same leg, cross it over, the left leg, take both hands and push that knee back towards your body. Keep that left leg straight and locked on the ground. All right? Get these hip flexors and these glutes now. Press that, press that knee back towards your body. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Try to keep your feet on the ground. If you try to keep that right foot on the ground, if you can. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Perfect. All right, switch it. We're gonna bend that left leg. Knee pointed out wide. Right hand. Reach and try to pull that foot back towards your body. Keep that right leg straight and locked. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. All right, we're getting the hip flexors and glutes. Press that knee back towards your body. Hold it. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good, good. All right. Now we're gonna get our quads now. So you're gonna lay on your side, elbow on the floor. Gonna take that foot and bring it behind you as far as you can. You can either set it on the floor or you can just pull it back if you can do that. Either one's fine, all right? We're getting these quads now. So pull that foot back behind you. Rest your elbow on the floor and support your body. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. All right, switch it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good, good. All right, guys. Those are some those are some quick stretches that you can do. Easy, beginner level. You can do them. You can do them right here on the floor. Like I said, we basically stretch every muscle in the lower half of your body. All right. So we got your calves, you got your your, uh, your hamstrings, your quads, your glutes, your feet, everything from the waist down. All right. So try these stretches every day. They should definitely give you. They should definitely. Uh, help you feel some relief in your joints and your muscle pains in the lower half of your body, especially with fibromyalgia and arthritis, you know, because you guys, your muscles and your joints are so stiff, you, but rep, practice makes perfect, repetition matters, all right? You got to continue to do the stretches, you know, uh, more and more, like two, maybe once or twice a day, 
Uh, I would recommend twice a day starting out, and as you get, you know, as you increase your flexibility, you can drop it down to once a day. That would definitely make a world of a difference for your joint pain and your muscle pain relief in the lower half of your body, all right? You gotta, you gotta crawl before you walk, all right? These are beginner level, they're easy, um, quick, and highly effective, all right? They help increase your circulation from the waist down and the lower half of your body. So if you have any, uh, if you have any feet pain, uh, knee aches, hip pain, you know, try these stretches, you know, once or twice a day, you should definitely feel a difference, you know, over time. But like I always say, you know, in order to get maximum pain relief, you have to apply, you know, the right diet and uh, right water, you know, um, stretching every day, detoxing, and that can also help lay the foundation for you to do more advanced things like exercising and build, you know, that those things lay a solid foundation for you to exercise and become more physically active um, and things of that nature, all right? So, but you have to, you have to uh, do these stretches every day. You know, they matter. You know, don't do them like once a week or twice a week and think it's gonna make that much of a difference with our mountain arthritis because you have to do them every day, all right? You have to keep that circulation, your circulation going and flowing throughout your body, all right? Uh, this especially helps uh, for your nerve pain as well. Um, circulation is very important, you know, to help give you some nerve pain relief in the lower half of your body. If you got any nerve pain in your hips and nerve damage in your hips and things like that, all right? So uh, try these stretches at home. Comment below. Let me know how you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you got any questions about anything. I'll be sure to respond to the ones that I see. And remember, like I said at the beginning of this video, like, share, and subscribe uh, so you can get notified when I upload more content on this channel, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.